Look where we're at. Look who we're with. Recognize that guy? Cruz doesn't know this yet, but me and him are gonna be best friends this summer. <laughs> here's Cruz, here's me. Here's me, here's Cruz. We were floating South Fork again. I had such a good time. What was that, last week? Yep. Decided let's do it again. Catch some more fish. I couldn't get anybody to come with me though. So it's just me and Cruz, but uh, that's all right. Just more fish for me and Cruz, I guess. <laughs> so same same basic setup as last time, right? Yep. Starting to hit the rubber legs a little more. What this river is really known for is the big salmon fly, stone fly hatch, which comes around in June, July. And uh, it's not here yet, so just nymph fishing, but we're starting to, Cruz says they're starting to pick up more fish on the rubber legs, which is a uh, the larva of the stonefly. Yeah, it's the, the nymph of the... The nymph, the aquatic version of the stonefly. It's when they're in the water. So it's good to start seeing fish hit those because they're, they're getting ready. But um, then the good old high sea worm, right? Yep. All right, man. How many fish are we going to catch today? A lot. <laughs> a lot. We caught a lot last time. He guaranteed us 40 fish last time, and I think we hit it. So we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. All right, didn't take long. It's actually my second fish of the day. We didn't catch any fish in this upper section last time. It's a nice little fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at that fish. Cuddy? Yep. Guys, it looks like a rainbow. I've been getting a lot of flack about this. It looks like a rainbow, but it is a cutthroat, right? Yeah. Show us why. So you got the, the slits, and there's no white tips on the fins. No white tips, that is... Cutthroat. Cutthroat. There he goes. <laughs> nice, man. That's two fish. We didn't catch any fish up here last time. So we switched up to a, uh, a uh, streamer, and uh, I couldn't catch anything on it, so I told Cruz to show me what's up. Can you show me what's up? I'm Hello. waiting to see what's up here. <laughs> Big old streamers that the, looks like a what a baby fish. Yep, little bait fish pattern. Cast it out there and just retrieve it back. This is your favorite one to tie, right? Uh, yeah, one of them. Look at that thing. Uh, barely legal. Barely legal is what it's called. Yep. Because it works so well. <laughs> yeah. Kelly Gallup fly. Kelly Gallup fly. I was just watching some of his videos the other day. All right, man. I just The old four weight today on the south fork, which might not be enough for some of these fish, but I'm sure is fun. <laughs> sure it comes. Nice fish. Oh, good brown. Nice fish. on this river. I've never caught a fish on it, but uh, let's we'll keep trying there here. <laughs> I just landed into a really good brown. How big do you think that fish is? 17. Nice. For being an hour and a half away from my house, this is uh, hard to beat. I have a feeling I'm gonna be up here a lot this summer. I tried to get Eric to come, but he was busy moving today. And Brian's headed to Oregon, so I'll roll solo. Check this fish out. Man. Nice. Such a rad fish. Look at that bad boy. So very next cast, man. Same exact place, same exact turnout. Big, nice fish. Uh, this is actually a native uh, fish to Idaho. It's called a mountain white fish. A lot of people don't like catching them because their mouths kind of resemble a sucker, but they are native to Idaho. And that's about as big as one you'll catch, man. That's a pretty nice fish. Good white fish. Thing is about those fish is they're good eating. I've eaten them before numerous times. And uh, they taste really good. I don't care what fish I catch. As long as they bite on the end of my line, I'm game. Nice brown. Look at this fish. Nice. Look at that stud. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Man, it's been a, another solid day, guys. We're not even halfway through, and that's my second big brown of the day. Look at that stud. 
Dang, man, I'll let that thing go. Nice. Finally got another nice cutty. Not a giant, but man, pretty fish. I love catching browns, but on this river, you almost get tired of catching them. <laughs> nice cutty right there. Nice work, man. You knew he was in there, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Let him go. Let him grow. Good fish. Well, we switched over to a streamer again. Just caught the second fish on the streamer today. Just a little guy, but man. Fun thing about streamer fishing. Look at that. You inhaled that thing. Oh. Dang. Yeah, the fun thing about streamer fishing is when they hit it, it's like, boom, hold on. That's why it's so fun. And typically you catch a little bit better fish, bigger fish anyway. But let's try that again. Just hooked into another nice brown. Probably 16 inches. Let him go though. Here he goes. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote for today. Another stellar day with Cruz. Cruz is the uh, South Fork Trout Whisperer. <laughs> That's your new name, oh, South yeah. Fork Trout Whisperer. Nice. We caught, I got, I counted 16 fish I got to the boat. Probably just as many I hooked into and they came off. I had a couple giants that we saw that I couldn't get in. But uh, another, another good day. We're just uh, waiting for the big bugs to show up, which uh, I think we'll be up here at the end of June to float with Cruz. Is that when it gets fun? Oh yeah, it's gonna be real good. <laughs> so yeah, another day on the South Fork. Guys, if you're living in southeastern Idaho, you gotta come fish this river. If you're into fly fishing, book you a trip with crews, high sea expeditions. Kid knows the river probably better than anybody, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, he knows the slots where the fish are. That's huge when uh, you're floating a river you've never fished before, so we'll be doing it again. <laughs>